Ladies and gentlemen of the 118 scale 3.75 inch 4 inch modern action figure community I'm back again with another video and in this video we're going to be discussing the Joy Toy Army Builder Promotion Pack 4 in particular this one that you see before you which is figure number 32 so Joy Toy has been releasing these promotion packs which is geared towards the uh, the collector that likes to team build. Um, this particular pack has a few different characters in it, and there's also some other packs out there. There's a one, two, and a three, this being the four. Um, so I guess what they want you to do is to buy a bunch of different packs, and you'll have a bunch of different team builders from those packs that you buy. So... Let's get a look at what this figure looks like on card. There he is. Um, so far, pretty cool. So what you have, you have a Joy Toy, Joy Toy logo. Um, you have some writing here, I believe that's Japanese. This is what he looks like on card. Sorry for the light glaring. All right, you. this is number 32. You can pause and read all that. Awesome. Nice graphics in the uh, on the background here. Pretty cool. So let's get a look at some of the equipment that he is packaged with. So first and foremost, he comes with this rifle here. I'm not sure on what this is, but I did a little research and I think I may have found it in the real world application. So I'll post a picture of it right here. And, uh, you know, I'm sure that my viewers and all of their infinite knowledge, you guys are going to tell me what this actually is. All right. Pretty cool. Nonetheless, done in one color. There's no removable magazines or anything. Next, he is packaged with this second uh, assault rifle. Again, pretty cool, no removable mags. And uh, this is pretty much what you're getting right here. Um, cast in one color, all black plastic. Next, he has a sidearm. See if we get that to focus in better. See, because now I'm in. Uh, pretty much twilight and it doesn't like to really uh, pick up in twilight but anyway this kind of looks like a Glock 9 or a Glock alright there it is a little better awesome cast in black with no removable mags and then lastly he's packaged with these different hands they all look like left hands there may be one right. No, they're all left hands. And they're just different ways of holding. Like you have this is more of a uh, pistol grip hand. And you have this one here is more of just like a, a chilling hand. Like, you know, he's not holding on anything. He's just hands down by his side. But it also looks like it's a better hand for um, holding on to the stock of the gun. Or the, not the stock, but the barrel, sorry. And here's another uh, closed hand. So now, let's get a look at the figure in question. Well, he does come with a figure stand. This is actually his figure stand. Plain black. No, no, uh, no insignia or anything on it. So now... We're going to take a look at the figure and his equipment. So as you see, he's highly detailed. 
he also these hands are already mounted on him when you get them those other hands are just extras and uh he's got his holster on the side now when i got him out of the packaging this holster fell off it has a little peg and it looked like it had a very small spot of glue on it but that wasn't working so i actually got my own glue out and glued it on so let's get a look at him let's get a 360 He's got his helmet on with his uh, scope. He's got some pouches. He's got a backpack. Here on the side, he's got more pouches. Drop down leg holsters on both sides. Well, drop down leg holster on this side and a drop down leg pouch system on that side. He's got knee pads. Pretty cool helmet. This figure would be cool if they gave you um, extra head sculpts for him. Like maybe just one head sculpt of something else, like maybe a, just a plain unhelmeted head or a helmeted head without the uh, goggles on it or the scope rather. So this is what you're getting here. I think it's pretty cool. However, I'm not really a huge fan of Joy Toy. I don't really do a whole lot of um, Joy Toy videos. I don't really pick up a lot of them because I see that, like, if you're the type that plays with these things, they break. I see a lot of um, posts on Facebook where people have pieces of these figures, and um, it's not cool because they're quite expensive to be just breaking on you. But what I do like is that they are creating quality figures out there well ironically not necessarily quality figures but they're creating cool figures out there in a 118 scale line um this one actually is kind of i think they're starting to um want to match their figures up more with other figures that are out there because this one this one's kind of kind of tall all right so <clears throat> Sorry, this is him standing next to a Marauder's action figure. And as you see, um, before, from my memory of these uh, figures, they were a little bit shorter. This one is almost right on line with, um, height-wise, with the Marauder's figure. And we know that Marauders of the modern figures, they're more like, they're, they're kind of taller. They're a taller action figure. So, I mean... So they should stand up well next to your next to your other figures in 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 your collections. So I ended up picking up two of these, and um, I don't know. I actually really like these. Um, they're pretty cool. They're nicely um, they're nicely put together. I mean, they're very you know they're detailed and. For me personally, I don't know if they're starting to make their figures with a better quality. I'm not sure. I can't tell with these. Um, me personally, I've never had a Joy Toy figure break on me, but I never really mess around with them. Once once I get them and I um, make a video of them, then I put them away into storage. So I don't know. Maybe they start to dry rot. I'm not sure. But um, so far, these figures have, have been really cool. Are you going to get these in your collection? Let me know. Um, I think I'm going to bring this video to an end. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free. Put them down below. I'll get to them at my earliest convenience. I appreciate you all for watching my videos. Until the next one, peace. That buzzer was right, at time, right, right on time, wasn't it? <laughs> anyway, have a good one and thank you again.